I have no idea what part I'm on in this thing. We're supposed to, uh, go here. Also, hey, Kaz. Hello. He is with us. I am just looking at Fire Emblem Hero stuff in the background while Les is doing this. <laughs> yeah. Breaking news, this is how we look like when we're hanging out. Let's get some blue <laughs> Where did you come from? Oh, English voices. Yeah. Well, as you can see, I am merely sitting here oh, and reviewing what we have him. used thus far. You were gone for ages, and now you're suddenly sitting here musing to yourself? Where oh you my god, anyway? Paimon. Shut up. <laughs> Paimon, be quiet before we turn you to emergency food for real. We're gonna have the emergency meeting about Paimon being emergency food. <laughs> Get wrecked. You never think things through before asking questions. I'm giving you some time to make up for that. And oh, savage. Paimon's so mad. Paimon's gonna give you an ugly nickname. The <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> uh, um, never mind. Paimon's got nothing. I mean, there's nothing going on in the brain. Yeah. Well. You've heard nothing to suggest I left this whole time. So clearly, I stayed in the village to investigate. Anyway, he's, 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 he's not even moving his mouth. And keep searching for the truth of this matter. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> this game was dubbed in the Chinese, so not even the Japanese voices would match. Oh. Yeah. No, continue the silent I'm treatment. I'm surprised that you decided to team up with him. All hate you. You haven't helped us out at all ever since we arrived at Aru Village. Bold of you to question our choices. Yeah, you're all talk. While you were investigating, I had my own work to do, which I've now finished. Really? Simon doesn't believe you. To be honest, we aren't really a team, so I have no obligation to inform you of my whereabouts. Fuck. Not to mention that going <laughs> separate ways allowed me to find some important information that you all had missed. Huh? Right here in the village? Correct. What did you learn? I'm going to take you to someone. But before that, you need to understand where she's coming from. What does that mean? How do you think the I'm on this too stupid to understand what we're doing? In other words, do you truly believe every single word the villagers tell us? You mean some of them lied to us? How dare Hiding they? Hiding the truth does not necessarily equate to lying. Again, these people have their reasons. Remember what Gandis said? Most people in Aru Village don't necessarily care which deity is in charge of Sumeru. That's because whether the Scarlet King or the Dendro Archon has power is of little significance to them. By contrast, the perils of their daily lives are ever-present concerns. They won't simply share everything they know with you without good reason. That's why you believe there was no further information to be found in this village. Glad you're following along. Among those you have talked to, there's someone who was consciously Among keeping you us. out of the loop. In fact, she's been observing your every move Among since us. you arrived. The reason being, to someone who only wants to live their life in peace, any external factors introduce unpredictability into the equation. <gasps> those eyes, those fierce eyes. You, you look like a real fighter. Don't change the subject. It's quite obvious that she's intimidated by Sino's authority and strength. Right. You were asking about the vi I mean, the mad scholars. She corrected herself mid-sentence because she's aware that there are Scarlet King fanatics in the village. If she sounds too friendly towards the village keepers, she could easily make herself the radical's next target. 
I think it's been a few days since I last saw them. I usually go to bed pretty early, so I'm not too familiar with what goes on at night. Remember? She made a point of denying her involvement in anything that occurs at night. Mm -hmm. But honestly, I feel quite sympathetic towards them. Even though they act a little strange, they've helped me in the past. If it weren't for them, my house would have collapsed long ago. After speaking to the village chief, it became clear that the village keepers had protected Aru village at night. In other words, the young miss was very much awake during that time. And why would she lie? By getting involved with an outsider, she risks drawing unwanted attention to herself. As for why she might be so wary about all this, <laughs> maybe you should ask her. I'll pass on this one. You said that she is afraid of me. If so, it's best if I stay out of this. We're on it. Now we gotta go talk to another NPC. Oh boy. Yeah. Hey, you're playing right as Raiden Shogun. Yeah, she is currently my like my main source of just damage. And then I also got Candice rather recently. Let me see Candice. Ah. Nice. Yeah. She's like the newest one I got There's so far. There's one thing Genshin is good at. It's character design. Oh, yeah. <laughs> like a call for a minute. Of course, we all know Shogun. Got cool. They're really good at making appealing characters. Yeah. There's also her. It's just funny. Oh. Huh. Yeah. Okay, I a... need to lower the volume of uh, Final Fantasy. <laughs> oh, no, that's fair. You got Rosaria, and all that. You got... No, Genshin seems to nail designs pretty much constantly. Miss Shawnee, <laughs> as we discussed earlier, I've brought someone with me. Mr. Ohatham, I'm aware of where you stand, but... How can I make sure that your friends think the same as you? Go ahead and talk to her. You'll get the answers you want. Go on. Earn her trust. Is it really that simple? It's worth trying. We gotta use our main I mean, protagonist yeah. powers. Traveler? Uh, hi, Traveler. I want to ask you something. Do you think the resurrection of the Scarlet King can truly change Sumeru for the better? Professor, I have something to ask of you. No, <laughs> stop it, Senna. You're in the wrong game. That's very similar to what Miss Candace says. I know you oh two are friends. Oh my god, I did this fight earlier. That's why I'm willing to talk to you, even though I do have some Yo, we found Hilda in the Norian Dark Mage outfit. I courage to ask something like this. Traveler, Ooh. do you believe our lives will get better? Thought, thought, thought. Here, guys, I'm gonna send it to you in DMs. Like what I said. Uh, I'm doing stuff right now. Oh yeah. Uh, I'll look at it later. All right. Only one side of my family is desert folk. 
I don't really fit in anywhere in Sumeru. Some believe in the Dendro Archon, while others believe in the Scarlet King. I don't belong to There is a lot of noise going on outside on my end. Oh no. I am so sorry if y'all hear the background noise. Some people can be so narrow minded when it comes to bloodline and beliefs. My neighbors are currently no watering stuff. I, say or how I, behave, or I don't know what they're doing, but it's like, come on, man. Slowly, I just stopped talking to people. Bruh. I pretended not to hear or see anything. All I want is to live my life in peace. And then it happened. The village keepers who had helped me disappeared with no explanation, and I didn't dare breathe a word about it to anyone until now. Bruh, what is with the noise? You can tell them. I'm sure he'll keep your secret. <laughs> this is actually kind of getting irritating, not gonna lie. I'll tell you what I told all hate them. I actually have a sharper sense of hearing than most. Sometimes. I hear strange crying sounds in the night. Uh, there are ghosts? Perhaps. I'm not sure. It's faint, but it's definitely the sound of crying. It comes from far away in the distance, and always carries... Okay, one of the abilities here that the boss is using is called Vent. No! Like vent, but it has a vent in the name. I confirmed this with the guards on night duty. They also have someone with a good ear, and he's heard similar sounds at night. But I tried to help that man. They died. I'd rather believe that they are the cries of beasts than ghosts. There's really nothing around these parts, except for an old hospital not far from the village. I think they used to use it for treating Elazar. But it's been abandoned for years. Yeah, let's go. If you're confused what Elazar is, it's uh, just known as a disease that there seems to be no cure for. Mm. It's it's just pain. I should probably find that waypoint, but it's probably up there. Damn it. Oh boy. Uh. I gotta do the great truck around the globe. I apologize if people can hear the noise from my mic. I, I can't do anything to really stop it. <laughs> I close my window, it gets too hot in this room, so... I, I kind of want to have airflow. But Jesus Christ, it actually does get irritating. I need to beat up that machine if I want to level her up. I want more cactus fruit. People are just dying consistently. Oh my that seems God. like the average day. Yeah, it seems like the average, uh... The average cackle. <laughs> yeah. Oh, hey, viewpoint. I still need to... ...preserve my MP so I can... ...help... ...the preserve party. Preserve the magic points. Yeah, the magic points. Empty and forgotten. Uh oh. Now you shall perish. I managed to Yay. make my shogun do more damage than before. Let's go. Illusion shattered. Some more? Oh god, there is. Eh. 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 
Eh. Is oh my God, it's him. Oh my God, you're so stupid, people. I feel so bad for this healer. What was that big fool? They were easier to deal with than Paimon had expected. Uh, super strong bandits? Or monsters taller than buildings dropping out of the sky? Or, you know... I have trust like issues. The average Godzilla movie. Use that dendro. He nearly died from that. Jesus Christ. Why did you even bother doing that limit break? Yeller. Let's go in and take a look. Oh, we don't even get to explore it? Shawnee says she only I mitigated the, the other tank too well. Time to burn. Oh no. <laughs> Until then. I'm taking the break. He's taking a break, boys. Just stop the video. What? What are you reading? Let He's taking a break. <laughs> okay, sure. I'm on, shut up. In contrast with an object in forced motion? Huh? When free from external I am so sorry for the background noise, everyone. I'm sorry for Poimon being background noise. Natural trajectory? So, um, you got that? So, Poimon gives up. You keep reading your book. See ya. <laughs> Poimon just gave up. <laughs> Sounds about right. Honestly, I'm just gonna do this because I have no trust in the healer. <laughs> Bro, what are these options? You know, it would have killed you, you to read a book once in a while, on. either. The fuck are these options? Holy shit. Uh, it's how you spread your wings. Maybe some learned. I mean, yeah. Yeah, the more you learn, the more money you can earn to support me. Hey, what gives? You be the one for <laughs> Is that what, <laughs> Is that what I'm doing right <laughs> now? <laughs> they get fucked. Paimon is doing something that isn't just being... Paimon? No. Huh? He didn't break, there it bro. Is. It's coming from that direction. From below. Uh, but there's no way we can get down there. Something is off about the interior here. It's able to lift a giant ass platform. Hmm. As I thought, there's a hidden structure. 
people talk? Wait, do I need oh. Dendro for this? What? Good question. Investigate oh the elemental God. monuments around have... the hospital. I need Dendro. What the fuck was that encounter? Uh. How the fuck do people die that much? Oh my god, they're so loud. Just what will we I legitimately can't fight? hear anything. Okay, that's good. I think OBS can pick up on it, that's the thing. Hmm. I can't climb this? What the hell? Uh, you're not Link. I know. Oh, come on, dude. I think OBS is probably able to pick up on it. Uh. Wait, do I do a dungeon or do I not do a dungeon? I could do that, but I think I'm gonna risk it to a dungeon. I can just straight up harass him like this, okay. Book power. How the hell do I activate the other ones? I'm curious. Mm. Mm. Um, hmm. I, I guess I'll just resort to murder. Alright, I am just simply resorting to murder. I, I'm legit confused. Illusion shattered. Propagate.
Okay. Where's the last one now? Over there? These guys. We wait. So they don't unlock. Damn it. Hey, my favorite boss fight, trash. Nice. The boss. It's literally just a lot of mobs instead of an actual big boss that you fight. Bruh. This is full. Wait. You're... He can't speak, and his eyes are unfocused. But he looks too young to be anyone's grandfather. Also, why is he the only one here? Didn't expect to see him here. You know him? Who's this? He's Razak, a senior of mine at the academia. He's a scholar too? Is he the kind that holds up in a forest and mumbles stuff about training? No. And that's the problem. Razak was never involved in any of those things. He never trained in the forest, let alone reach Satyavadawa. Leaving that question aside for the moment. Him being here alone means that we might be too late. Looks like they've already taken everyone away. For whatever reason, they left Razak here. Perhaps they simply didn't have time to come back for him. Hmm. There are drag marks on the ground. They're clearer by the doorway. Someone was forcefully drawing a cart that was loaded with something heavy. Loaded with people? Oh. That is one possibility. Hmm. It looks like they were in a hurry, as if they were afraid of being caught. In their haste, they failed to notice Razak hiding in a corner. The symptoms are identical. Looks like we found living proof. Huh? Why do you say that? Allow me to jog your memory. Recall your time at Port Ormos. Don't you think his symptoms look familiar? Oh yeah, they're with the other guy. Oh! Now that you mention it, they're acting the same way! Correct. The Academia is behind all of this. It isn't difficult to deduce their rationale. First, the Academia spread a false rumor of the Scarlet King's resurrection, emphasizing the role of the village keepers, the mad scholars who were exiled to Aru village. These rumors were all the persuasion that the radicals needed, and those based in Aru village leapt into action. 
Unbeknownst to them, of course, through rounding up the scholars, they were actually helping the academia. As well as being able to exploit the radicals for their own ends, this scheme has one further advantage to the academia. All the risks and responsibilities are offloaded onto the Scarlet King's followers. Life for the Desert Dwellers has been brutal ever since the Scarlet King's death all those years ago. Beneath the surface, feelings of desperation are widespread. Many would give everything they have for the prospect of something better. Anyone looking to exploit that for their own ends simply needs to make a few empty promises. Even if complications arise, people will see that those involved are all followers of the Scarlet King and look for no further explanation than differences of belief. A deep-seated mistrust of the desert and everyone in it by the rest of Sumeru will make sure of that. The notion of an academia plot wouldn't even cross their minds. It may seem like a simple strategy, but it is able to work wonders under Sumeru's current circumstances. Oh, that makes a lot of sense. It's in line with the village chief's theory, too. But there's still one very important question. Wasn't it the academia that brought the scholars to Aru village in the first place? Why does it want them back now? Throughout this process, one thing has changed. The scholars' identity. First, they were scholars. Then, they became lunatics. After that, they were exiles. And finally, they become missing persons. Hmm... An exile is still patently a living, breathing human being. But when someone becomes a missing person, that is brought into question. If you can't find someone, you have no way of knowing what exactly happened to them. That makes missing people an ideal resource. Resource? For what exactly? One possibility is that the information in their brains could be extracted into knowledge capsules. Extracted? You mean, hand knowledge comes from people's brains? With the technology of the Sumeru Academia, it's entirely possible. Bruh, that's kind of dark. The process caused them great suffering, which is why they cry out in the dead mm. of night when no one is watching them. So, the human brain... Nope, nah, Hyman doesn't want to think about this. <laughs> I'm the academia. Yeah, I can girl. agree with that, Paimon. I'm familiar with their projects. Anyway, judging by Razak's state, the contents of a divine knowledge capsule were extracted from his mind. But something went wrong in the process. Or perhaps his curiosity got the better of him, and he used such a capsule for himself. But uh, Hyman's a little confused. Can they just use anyone's brain? Oh boy. Turn the balladeer into a god. <laughs> what? The look on your face tells me you've realized the answer. That's right. To some scholars, gaining knowledge about the gods is their entire life's pursuit. Extracting canned knowledge is just one of the extreme measures they turn to. However, I can't help but wonder. What do they seek to gain from divine knowledge? The academia is going out of their way to look for forbidden knowledge. But what is their ultimate goal? I've spent quite some time trying to analyze the contents of the divine knowledge capsule, but to no <laughs> avail. It seems like my way of thinking is too different from theirs. You mean... You're not even slightly interested in getting your hands on this forbidden stuff? All scholars seek to expand the horizons of knowledge. But I'm not particularly interested in gods, so I don't share their degree of zealotry. Extracting information from people as if they were lifeless objects? <laughs> if this is the direction of academic progress, then the academia may as well shut its doors. Sounds like you're really against all this. Of course. The Academia's actions run contrary to their rules. Whether it be academics or knowledge, everything has its boundaries. If those lines are crossed, the rules and order that govern everything in the world will be destroyed. This matter needs to be corrected. Just like fixing a typo in a book. Wait, didn't you step in to help because 
she felt sympathy for those poor people? Not to be callous, but no. My criteria are a little more restrictive than that. There is no shortage of suffering in Sumeru, and the same can be said for the rest of Tibet as well. What do you plan to do about that? Save every last person? Um, probably not. Uh, Paimon's not sure. You can say that. Simply put, I don't blindly place my faith into strength or heroism. I do what I want. The Divine Knowledge Capsule is something I want to investigate in full. That doesn't mean I'm willing to take action for the sake of a few strangers. Hyman's been wanting to say this for a while. There are a lot of bad guys in the Academia, but you're not one of them. You're their weirdo. <laughs> you're probably right. Though I must say, I quite enjoy this feeling of being the odd one out. Uniqueness is also an asset, is it not? Wow, that's a great way to think about it. Paimon's really impressed. If only Miss Shani had a similar mindset, her life would definitely be a lot easier. I'm just a more likable person than her in general. There's nothing more to it than that. <sighs> He won't last long if we leave him here. Let's take him with us. Mentally we'll unstable person. After we return to our yeah. village. And now we just gotta travel all the way back. But are there any treasures here? Oh well, wait, let me just switch on my team. As much as Dendro is good, I need Ayaka. <laughs> oh, I wanna... Ancient key. Alright, I'll take that. Oh. I can't navigate for shit. Tank died. Uh oh. Hmm. That's fine. Of course, it's a singular tank buster in the fight actually uh, went on me. Get those primos. We're back. 
You must be tired. You should rest and take some water. What's the situation? Hmm? Who's this? Unfortunately, somebody who's too young to take on the role of Isak's grandfather. Nevertheless, he's one of the people we're trying to find. So, at one point in time, the abandoned Elazar Hospital served as the Academia's site for extracting Divine Cant knowledge. Yep, pretty much! Their plan must have been implemented at some point before we arrived at Aru Village, since Divine Cant knowledge has been in circulation for a while now. Yet, they fled once we were headed to the village, almost as if they knew we were on their trail. Why is that? Hmm. Yeah! Why is that? We may have a mole in our midst. One of us could be secretly revealing our whereabouts to the Academia. Huh? Are our friendships that shallow? Hmm. Looks like none of you have realized wherein lies the issue. Sino. You're the reason why they can predict our movements. Wait, what's that supposed to mean? Choose your next words very carefully. It is simply a logical inference. I have my reasons. So what you're saying is... Sino's the mole. Interesting. And here I thought you were the most suspicious one I'll hate them, since you were always acting alone. I know. You have a point. But I realized something as we were returning from the hospital. Sino isn't like any of us. What are you trying to say? Do you still remember who you are, General Mahamadra? <laughs> as a Matra, you are no doubt privy to certain kinds of information. Before you can take action against someone, you are required to have all the facts available, including the less than savory details. Simply put, the Academia has traditionally allowed you access to a wealth of sensitive information. Knowing their modus operandi, wouldn't you expect them to take precautions against you? Is that a cat if you want girl? to raise a vicious wolf, you need to make sure that you can avoid its bite. The Academia is monitoring me? It's not that simple. The Academia has eyes all over Sumeru, but they have a special protocol for dealing with you. Every so often comes a Nyagarbaha day. On this day, the Academia enters new information into the Akasha through knowledge capsules. I remember seeing the thick notebook next to the control panel once. Its contents were all about the General Mahamatra, his activities throughout the day, preferred methods of enacting judgment, everything. You're saying that the Academia entered my information into the Akasha too? But what's the point in doing that? My actions aren't important enough to be added into the Akasha. The Akasha is capable of computation. Huh. The Akasha's algorithms are entirely capable of predicting your movements using the data entered. When you would depart, the route you would follow, your destination. It knew all of this. It predicted my every move. The Academia oh, has been watching you longer than you think. And a lip sync. So that's how it is. Sino adheres to his principles so strongly that he's actually a thorn in their side. Tenacity of will and steadfast faith are worthless to the Academia. They need scholars who are easily pliable and mindlessly go after anything they can profit from. Sino, don't take it to heart. This just proves how much of a trustworthy ally you are. They escaped because of me. Don't blame yourself. It's not like any of us would have known. I have an idea. If they predicted he has my no movements, idea. then I might be able to guess where they went. Whoa, you bounce back fast. Huh? <laughs> there is always an opportunity for safety after danger passes. Oh, so that's how it is! Paimon gets it now! If the Academia is trying 
They'll want to proceed in the direction opposite of where I'm going. I must go. There's also something I want to investigate. Just as I know needs to go, I what think a I also go. should go. Wait, I want to go too. Hmm. You want to go too? Where did the cat girl go, indeed? If so. You have to Where did the better cat safe. girl go and go to? Sorry, Grandpa. catching. <laughs> I promise I'll be careful and not cause any trouble. <laughs> Everyone, I leave them in your hands. Alrighty. Yay, He's gonna go, is gonna cause trouble. No, time on you are like food. We're missing someone though. <laughs> now you notice. Alright, we're gonna do what the cutoff. You, you what happens if you play as Candace and talk to Candace? I don't think anything happens, because I think you just. Yeah, you just I'll default. Your good news. You uh -huh. just switch to Traveler. Alright, I'm gonna, I'm gonna make the cutoff here, and we're gonna go to like maybe. I think it is part six at this point. Yep.